I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a hummingbird. I take one finger right over here on the right and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, leave it floating. Right where I stop, I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, and leave it floating. I come back over here and I draw a straight line and connect. I come right here at this point and I draw a straight diagonal out and curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. I come back to the dot and I'm going to come down with a curve line right about there and stop because I'm going to draw a little curve line in, come back to this space, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal up, and connect. And I'm just going to put one little dot right there towards the top. I come inside and I draw a baby circle and I put a dot inside there also. Come down below here, we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line in, curve line out, then we're going to go one, two, three, four little curve lines, big curve line up, over, and connect. Now I come all the way over here to the left hand side and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Starting where I stop, bring it down, curve line down, up, in, out, in, out, up, and off the page. Right about here, I draw a straight line down, off the page. Okay, now we're ready to color. Okay, this project is fun because we're going to do a lot of double coloring. But first I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to color in this space and I'm going to color in this space my baby circle. I'm going to put the orange away for a moment, okay, and now we're going to start double coloring. I start with light to dark, so I'm going to take my yellow green and I'm just going to put some up down up down wavy lines curve lines, filling in the space, and following the lines that I've just drawn. So if you just follow the lines, the black lines that you've just drawn with your colors, eventually that will be enough to fill in the space. So I'm starting with my lightest, which is green. I now come in with blue, green, turquoise. And I'm just going to add some more color following my black line, bring it up, come over here, do this space, follow the black lines, bring it in, up, over, and don't forget this space too. Okay, once I've added my color, I can come back in and lightly loop-de-loop -loop over the green, light green, yellow green, and the turquoise blue. This is called double coloring and we're blending our colors. Now you can blend colors using crayon like I am. You can blend colors using pastels which is like a chalk and you can also blend colors using watercolor. But I use crayon because that's what I have the most stuff. Okay, now I'm still not done. I'm going to take my regular green and I'm just going to add some more lines of color. So this little hummingbird really has three shades of color 
on it. And if you look at a hummingbird, you will see that they have beautiful colors. They're all different colors depending on which kind they are. And they're iridescent. They sparkle. Okay, so that is my hummingbird. Now I'm going to do my flower because that's the same concept. I'm going to take my pink and just put that first layer of color on. And you can use any colors you want, but pink is what I'm starting with. Next, I take my orange and I put some more lines of color. Follow the black lines. That'll keep you in the right space. Bring it up. Bring it over. Don't forget this edge. Then I'm going to come back to my pink and I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop over the orange and the darker pink lines I already put down. Loop-de-loop -loop over. And now with my purple, I'm just going to add some purple lines on the edges of what I've drawn and some right here in the center. Okay? Now I go back and get my greens and I color yellow green first, light to dark, and then I just put some dark green lines over it. So I'm looking at this, and usually you know how I put stripes, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take my regular blue, because I keep thinking this is too white. And on the background, I'm going to do a real loose loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay? Now, what would be fun would be to build a garden on a bulletin board, and everybody make some hummingbirds and have that be a whole springtime garden. Just an idea. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my hummingbird all colored in. You might want to Google hummingbirds and see the vast array of colors that they come in. Okay, bye-bye.